In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a Steam, uh, an unturned server with Steam CMD, along with how to add Rocket Mod and plugins. First off, you want to go to the Steam CMD website and download the Steam CMD. Simple enough. You will get a zip document and you want to open it. Go to your desktop and create a folder. I don't know. You can name this folder whatever you want, but you might want to name it Steam CMD. You want to drop steamcmd.exe into that folder. And once you open the folder, you want to run it. Depending on how fast your internet speed is and the download region, this may take a while. Once it's finished, you can type quit into the console, but do not click the X on it. Once you closed it, you want to right, left click the empty space and then right click and make a new text document. And in this text document, you want to add this line. The install directory will not be the same as mine, but you want to file, save as, in something memorable so you know that it will update unturned. And you want the file extension to be .bat and change the file type to all files and click save. You close that and delete the text document. Then you want to run the new bat file we just made. Once it is finished, you'll see a new folder named Unturned, and in that folder will be a server installation of Unturned. You want to left click, then right click the Unturned.exe and press Create Shortcut. Now it's time you want to rename it so you know it starts the server. And once you made the new shortcut, right click it and press Properties, and at the end of Target, you want to add this line. And where it says my server is what the server folder will be called, where the server's player information, map information, and if you install Rocket, Rocket information will go. And once you're done, you want to press OK. Now you may run your server. The first startup will always take the longest. You will know when the server is done loading once it says loading level 100%. And now you want to close the server. But you never want to click the X as this may create corrupted files within the server, so you want to type in shut down. And then you want to go to your servers folder that was just made, and then go to the server folder that it made, and it should have the name you gave it. Once you're in this folder, you want to go to the server folder inside of that. You'll see commands.dat, and you want to edit it in any text editor that you prefer. And in this file, we'll create the basic information of the server. Name is the name of the server. And there is a limit of 50 characters. And if you go over that limit, the server name will just be unturned. And then the next one that I'll be using is mode. You can choose between easy, normal, and hard. I'll be choosing easy. And then there's perspective if I can remember how to spell that. And you can choose between first, third, vehicle, and both. And then there's map. If I remember, it will default to PEI. 
but you can also choose other maps. And then if you want cheats on your server, you'll have to type in cheats, but if you don't, don't type it in. And there's max players. And this will determine how many players can connect to your server at once. Unturned supports a max of 24 and it will display it on the server list, but if you go over 24, it will not display it on the unturned master list. So I'll be choosing 12. And you can save this file and close it, and then go back to your unturned installation and run the server. And if you gave it a name, it will be the name of the console. And this is when we want to load into Unturned 2. Once you're in, you want to go to play, servers, and then LAN. And if you made it correctly, you will see it in the LAN tab, along with what parameters you gave it. And to give yourself admin, you first want to join the server because that's the easiest way to do it. And if you look in the server console, you shall see your name. And you want to type in admin, and then just a little snippet of your name. We'll say successfully admin your Steam ID. If we look at the server list, you are now an admin. And if you only want a vanilla server, you can stop watching now. But if you want to add Rocket mods, keep watching. Rocket al mod allows custom commands to be used, such as kits, teleport requests, and teleporting to your own clean bedroll, as well as many others. You want to shut down your server again, make sure you don't close it with the X, and then you want to go to rocketmod.net. This is where you can download RocketMod along with plugins. We are going to download RocketMod 4 because it's the most supported and it's the one with more plugins as RocketMod 5 is still in the preview version. You want to open the zip that it gives you and you'll see a folder that has scripts and modules. We're going to add this to the base directory of your server. And then now you can run your server again. You will know it adds it once you see unturn, rocket unturned for unturned version. Once your server is done loading, you can then shut it back down. Once you shut it down, you can go to the servers folder, your server, and then there will be a new folder called Rocket. You want to open this folder. When you download plugins, it might only give you a plugin, and there might be libraries that come along with the plugin, and you want to drop put that in the libraries folder and plugins will go into the plugins folder. And the only file we'll have to edit usually is permissions.config. This is where you give your players permissions to use commands or make new ranks. I will be downloading two plugins, teleportation and zop home command. If I can find it. You want to leave these two tabs open as you'll need them later. To download, you just click Build, and it shall give you the zip files. You want to open both of them, and go to your server folder that you've minimized, and go to the plugins. You want to drag and drop both of the plugins into that folder. And you'll go back to the base installation of your server and run your server.
you know they have been added once they log that they are in TPA and home. Once again, you want to shut down your server. You want to go to your rocket folder and open it, preferably with Notepad++. We'll be copying the first permission as this is the easiest way to add permissions. I'll be adding two because that's how many I need. Right here, to get the permissions needed, you go to the plugin, press on configuration, and then commands. And it should be right here. We're going to add, be adding TPA and home. And to add simple, they won't always work, or work as intended, cooldowns, you go in here and type in your cooldown in seconds. 60 seconds being one minute, and etc. You want to save this file and close it. And you want to go back to your server and start it. And now you can boot into Unturned. and you'll be joining the same way as we joined last time, through the LAN tab. And if you installed it, it will be underneath Rocket Plugins. I'll spawn myself in the bedroll to show you that home has worked, and I shall unadd myself. Because if you do not give the players permissions, they will not be able to use the commands unless they're admin. Now if you do slash p, you can see all available commands to you as long as well as your groups. Now if you do slash home after claiming the bedroll, you'll teleport to your bed. And TPA works, but I have no friends and I can't really prove it to you besides trying to teleport to myself. And that is the the end of this video, in the next one I'll be showing you how to allow your, the server through the firewall and how to port forward your server. Enjoy and thanks for watching.